Hello folks, this is Tech Shuttle here. Uh, I bought a tablet um, online, uh, a Sprint version of the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Uh, this is the seven inch model of the uh, tablet and I wanted to do an unboxing. So uh, this is the box, it comes in a 100% a recycling box and material and stuff like that. Um, this has the uh, Comes with the Samsung Galaxy Tab, AC charger, USB cable, getting started edition, uh, terms and terms and condition of service, and it's going to work on the Sprint LTE 4G network as well as 3G network as well. So uh, this is what the box looks like, and so let me do an unboxing now and open it up. Okay, so I got my trusted knife here. And I'm going to open up the box. It comes sealed here, so I'm just gonna open up, uh, open up one side here. Open this up and take it out. It has a notch you could pull it out with. There it goes. You can see. Um, now the difference between this um, 4G model, the Sprint version, and the uh, Wi-Fi version is that uh, this has a 1.7 gigahertz uh, processor and the uh, Wi-Fi version has a 1.2 gigahertz processor so there there are minor differences um, in between them um, so let's take it out of here uh, as you can see here we have the tablet itself in here we have a little notch here we open it up let's see what else is in here take this up take this up um, well, the box is falling apart. Okay, so in here is the rest of the stuff. We have your your charging cable, your USB, micro USB to regular USB. We have a uh, your standard uh, Samsung tab charger right here, USB charger. And over here you have your material, reading material, stuff like that getting started guide and some stuff that you want to read about you could send back your old tablet here or phone or whatever to sprint so that's basically it so let's uh take a look at the tablet okay, itself guys now once again as i told you this is runs on android 4.2 and uh runs on the sprint 4g lte network now this is the uh front of the tablet here as you guys will have on the sticker here uh, has some um, buttons here, uh, back and home button, and a uh, a list or menu button here. At the side of the tablet, you have your uh, power button here. You have your volume rocker. You have a IR port to uh, like if you want to blast something onto your TV or something. The back of the tablet here, you have your uh, here. You can see the model number right here, SMTZ one seven S. You put your SIM card here at the side over here. Right here is the SIM card slot right here. And over here is your micro SD card slot over here. See for micro SD. And this is 16 gigabyte. Now the Wi-Fi version only comes with 8, eight gigabytes. So this is a much better deal. You get 16 gigabytes. Of course, you can ex expand the memory up to 64 gigabyte using a micro SD card slot. Now this is a 7-inch screen. Uh, with a 1024 by 600 resolution and it weighs about 11 ounces and once again it has a 1.7 gigahertz dual core processor the Wi-Fi version only has a 1.2 gigahertz processor so this comes also with the uh, 16 gigabytes of internal memory and a 1.5 gigabyte of uh, RAM okay so that's the uh, the Wi-Fi version only comes with 1 gigabyte this has 1.5 so uh, this uh, turn it on now and see what we uh, find. Uh, turn it on. Let's take a look at the bottom here. Over here, you have your micro USB charging port, and you have two speakers uh, left uh, on one side of the uh, tablet. And the top of the uh, uh, Galaxy Tab 7 inch here, uh, you have your micro SD card slot, I mean, your uh, headphone jack right here, and a Qualcomm 4G sticker. All right. So now let's turn it on and see, see what we okay, find. First, we turn it on. First, let's take out the sticker here that's in front. Peel this off right here. And uh, 
In the back here, we have another sticker. We're going to take that out much later. So let's turn it on here by holding down the power button right here for a couple seconds. Hold it back down again. Okay, there it goes. Starting up now. Now, this has the same uh, welcome screen as the Wi-Fi version. And of course, it says here is uh, preparing your device for the first time use. This may take up to three or four minutes. Well, in the meantime, we could take a look at the the batteries over here. The uh, um, the uh, signal over here. It says 3G. And of course, this is 4G LTE compatible, um, which runs on a, a new Sprint 4G, the 4G LTE network. Um, of course, in front here, you have a front-facing camera with an ambient light sensor. And of course, in the back, you have a, a 3 megapixel camera. Um, I believe that's fixed focus. And of course, in front, you can use this for Skype and whatever one, you know, um, video conferencing or such. So when it starts up, uh, we'll go back there again. Okay, it's coming along. Okay, so it just uh, restarted itself uh, after doing an update. And uh, it's recovery rooting right there. So let's see. Uh, okay. Starting up again now. Now apparently you have to download some software before we, we, we get uh, started, the PRL version. So it's been uh, updated now. Okay, you have your Sprint logo in front here. The start of the tablet. Okay, see so it's the same thing again. So let's uh, skip this part until we see uh, the home screen. Okay, now I guess we're where we're, we're, we're getting somewhere here with the home screen. Okay, Samsung Samsung Galaxy Welcome. Select language. We already uh, choose English here, so we're going to go next. And of course, you have to sign in with your uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, let me sign in and get back to okay, you. Okay, guys, I finally managed to get the home screen now after updating the uh, tablet. As you can see, this is the home screen. Uh, you, have your, you have your apps here in the front. You have uh, a weather widget over here, a Google search. Um, let's take a look at uh, what else we see here. Um, keep going. That's about it on the front page here. Um, comes with a uh, Samsung phone touch with. Let's take a look at the apps on the app drawer right here. See what it comes with. Uh, you have your uh, mostly normal Samsung apps. This one has watch on right here. Has a video player, voice search. You have um, play music. Uh, you have your settings right here. You have a sprint zone. Let's take a look at the uh, settings here. We click on settings and we could take a look at it about the tablet here. The storage, let's take a look at the storage. And of course, I don't have any uh, micro SD card slot inside, but it comes with 16 gigabytes of storage. Uh, you need at least 3.68 gigabyte to uh, use the system. And there is about 11 and 82 gigabytes left. Now there's no SD card slot, but I plan on putting one in later. Uh, let's take a look at about the tablet here. Uh, let's see here, we have storage, power, user, location, ad account. And I didn't add my Google account yet. Um, let's see about the tablet, see if we can get about the tablet. Um, oh, oh, wrong one, let's go back. Um, Okay, so uh, well, these are all the uh, the stuff it comes with here, as you can see here, in the uh, settings area. We have Wi-Fi on right now. Let's see what happens when we turn it off. Go home. Of course, when we turn it off, the 3G icon shows up. The screen is uh, crystal clear. Um, 
better than the uh, old last year model, the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 uh, 7 inch. Now, this also has a drop down menu thing here that you could uh, access. Um, you have turn on Wi Fi, GPS sound, uh, screen rotation right here. You have a blocking mode, you have multi window, smart say, stuff like that. Uh, of course, here at the bottom it says uh, sprint. Let's go back up here. Over here you have your list menu that you have here at the bottom. Over here you have your return. You click this. And of course you have your home button right here. You could press home with. It takes you right back to the uh, home screen. So uh, yeah, this is a quick look at the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch. This is the 4G LTE model but right now I'm getting 3G. It hasn't been activated yet. Uh, runs on the Sprint Network and uh, it's available right now online that you can get it and uh, it's pretty light. It's only about 11 ounces and uh, if you have any questions, you know, um, you could uh, leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and so this is a tech shuttle and uh, I'll see you next time. Uh, thank you for watching. Once again, these are the, the uh, things that it comes with, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.